Greetings, and thank you for creating space for this synchronistic moment where we're flying high with synchronicity. My name is Harold Cosby, and I am the world changer coded by the Blue Overtone Storm, and I'm known as the Hollow Mind Teacher. And I like to start with our Declaration of Remembrance, which reads as follows. To engage in the daily practices that will assist us with effectively identifying, developing, and accessing the energies of the seven mental spheres in order to experience our realities through radio perception. As a result, we will be able to harmonize with the synchronicities from the law of time, space, and ultimately continue the development of the fourth dimensional telepathic communication medium, the Noosphere. I also want to read our purpose statement for the SOAR report, and the SOAR stands for Synchronic Order Assessment Reading, and it reads as follows, to provide a mind map that displays the cycles of evolution, beginning with the point in space from our incarnation up to the current cycle on the path of destiny. As a result, we can foresee and foretell the upcoming cycles in order to allow synchronicity to work on your behold. Ashe. And so today is the blue cosmic night. And this is the kin of the day. And the signature reads as follows. I endure in order to dream. Transcending intuition. I seal the input of abundance with the cosmic tone of presence. I am guided by the power of accomplishment. And I repeat this three times to lock it into the cosmos. I endure in order to dream, transcending intuition. I seal the input of abundance with the cosmic tone of presence. I am guided by the power of accomplishment. One more time, I endure in order to dream, transcending intuition. I seal the input of abundance with the cosmic tone of presence. I am guided by the power of accomplishment. Ashe, Ashe, and Ashe O. All right, so with talking about abundance, I want to really quickly say something here about compassion. Compassion is the unconditional giving, the basis of wealth and abundance. Compassion is pure selflessness. Pure selflessness overcomes the snare of poverty mentality, for you are always rich in giving. Compassion is also exchanging yourself for others. By putting yourself in someone else's shoes, you can cease judgment and equalize perceptions of others. Ashe. And so I said that to say this, that night represents abundance. The night represents all that you have access to so that you can be, no, do, or have anything in this universe. But we are in a mind virus right now that reduces us or makes us think that we are just a fraction of the whole. This is what the law of Helonomy actually helps us to dissolve. This third dimensional program that we're separate from the whole only allows us to develop the faculties of the mind to be in survival mode or to be a fraction of the whole, one-tenth of our brain power being used. However, when we re-imprint the synchronic codes in our mind as the galactic whole, we are now able to engage the law of holonomy and position ourselves to create the faculties that give us access to everything in this entire universe. And so these synchronistic sessions are important. The teachings of the law of time is imperative. 
and the teachings of the hollow mind perceiver allows us to perceive the universe being played out in our own localized mind, which is a part of the cosmic mind. And so we're in the 13th step here. So each way spell is 13 days. It can be 13 weeks, 13 years. But in this way spell, this is the 13th day of this way spell. And so we started with the magic of the monkey, where the monkey plays and deals with illusion and magic. But to tap into that magic, there's a 13 day cycle that now we have climaxed to through the abundance of the night. So through magic, we access abundance. And this is the hologram that is put inside spiritually into the seed that we're going to sow into the galactic hole. And so why do I say that? Because this is the 13th step. We're taking magic flight to the next which is the magnetic gate of purpose for kin number 144, the yellow magnetic seed. You see, and so now with the seed, we take a whole new 13 step cycle and evolve into the cosmic gate, which takes flight to the next magnetic gate. And these are spirals. These way spells are fractals of spirals that keep us evolving versus spinning. Keeps us evolving versus revolving. So remember what I said about compassion. Know that you are the abundance, that you have the hologram of the outcome in you already, and it's in the form of abundance. And so knowing that, moving into this next way spell, we're in an incredible position to manifest whatever our heart truly desires. Real quickly, I want to point out the hollow mind perceiver today. And this is a chart of the mind map that really uh, we have that produces an overlay of the brain that tells us what part of the brain gives us access to the seven thinking layers of the cosmos. This is how we become in harmony and synchronicity starts to work on our behalf because these are parts of the cosmos that automatically work. This is how trees grow effortlessly. And we can do the same. So you can see there's some black dots. There's some red crosses. There's also some blue triangles or pyramids on here. And so the black dots represent archetypes. What I look for on this chart is to see the location and where the highest concentration of activations are. So if you look here in the top middle, there is a blue triangle with a red cross in it and there's a black dot. So this signifies that there's triple activation that's descending into our crown chakra. Okay. And then we also have triple activation down in the lower middle part. There's a triangle, a black circle, and there's some green spikes. Okay. That is the gate that opens up those green spikes is the gate that opens up the thinking layer of the cosmos today, which is the fourth mental sphere. And so these activations tell us how much intensity is coming with the activation of the mental sphere and or the activation localized in a specific area because that area represents either one of the nine time dimensions, the seven mental spheres, or one of the 11 circuits. And it gives us cosmic knowledge, which helps us to evolve in this reality. So this is how we can dissolve old uh, paradigms and programs that's keeping us stuck and that spinning and that feedback loop that doesn't allow us to take magic flight to the next octave. So very, 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 very powerful. And so you can see the mental sphere is highlighted in fluorescent green. So this is the fourth mental sphere. Just tell you what it says. Fourth mental sphere, continuing consciousness is the sphere of disciplined concentration. 
Concentration means centering your mind on a fixed idea, like abundance, <laughs> and focusing consciously or unconsciously upon it for a prolonged period so that it becomes a part of your waking consciousness. This is the sphere of the fourth dimension etheric holon, which really is the spiritual part of your being. This is the sphere of the soul mind that corresponds with the fifth dimensional higher self. So this is what we have access to if we can focus. And so tonight before you turn it in and go to bed and rest, you know, focus your mind, allow yourself to meditate on your sacral chakra. Allow yourself to know that you have access to the all the abundance in this entire universe. Also allow your spiritual fourth dimensional hold on to interact with your soul mind, your fifth dimensional higher self, so that it can download cosmic knowledge into your crown chakra so that you can wake up on purpose and know that in the seed way spells, you're going to sow seeds of abundance and it's going to allow you to manifest a harvest. So what's next? Well, you can go to our website at www.synchronistichuman.com. I recommend that you order a SOAR report and start to introduce yourself if you haven't already into the synchronic order. Because now when we get synchronicity working on our behalf and synchronicity becomes the norm, we don't have to be a human doing. We can be what we always came here to be. And that's a human being allowing the synchronicities to work on our behalf. Thank you for watching and listening. And we look forward to seeing you at the next synchronistic moment. In La Kesh, a la King and Hotep family.